Hey guys, welcome to the Grafana series. I suggest you to watch observability versus monitoring video if you haven't already watched before jumping into this video to understand Grafana better. In this video, we will delve into Grafana, one of the most widely used tools for monitoring. So without any further delay, let's get started. In the Prometheus series, we have seen how to scrape metrics using Prometheus. In the same way, we get logs from different systems using tools like Loki or sometimes we store our metrics data in our database. In the world of microservices, we end up collecting large amounts of data from our applications. Parsing through this data and understanding it requires a massive amount of effort which is not an easy task without the right tool. Instead of manually going through all this data and trying to understand what's going on, what if there is a way to visualize this data in some graphs and understand what's happening at a single glance? For example, creating a gauge panel to check the CPU usage with the data stored in Prometheus. That's where Grafana comes into the picture. With Grafana, we can query and visualize our data in beautiful dashboards to understand our metrics no matter where they are stored. Be it Prometheus, Loki, InfluxDB, Elasticsearch, MySQL, etc. So in short, Grafana is an open source tool used for monitoring application performance. It allows users to ingest data from a wide range of sources, query and display it in a customizable dashboards. Not just that, Grafana is fully loaded with all features we need in monitoring. It is a powerful and flexible dashboard editor that allows us to create dynamic, responsive and beautiful dashboards. It supports multiple data sources including databases like MySQL, time series databases like Prometheus and log data like Loki. Also, it supports a variety of visualization options including graphs, tables, gauges and heat maps. With Grafana, it is also possible to set alerts so we can quickly be notified of abnormal behavior. For this, Grafana has built-in support for a wide range of notification channels including email, Slack, Teams, PagerDuty and more. User management and access control in Grafana allows us to control who has access to our dashboards and data sources. Grafana is completely open source and backed by an active, vibrant community that provides support and contributes to the development of the platform. Grafana allows us to annotate or leave notes directly on graphs, providing a way to seamlessly mark important points on the graph and serve as a reminder for further action in the future. Grafana also supports dynamic dashboards and flexible data exploration through templating and variable. Don't worry, we will see all these features in action in the rest of the series. Also, many people get confused about the difference between Prometheus and Grafana. Though they both serve the same goal when combined, they serve different purposes in the monitoring stack. For example, Prometheus collects and stores time series data from various sources, whereas Grafana retrieves the data directly from these sources and it doesn't store any data. And Grafana is primarily used for data visualization whereas Prometheus has limited visualization options and focuses more on data collection and analysis. Prometheus provides advanced alerting capabilities. Grafana also supports alerting but its capabilities are limited compared to Prometheus. By the way, there are alternatives to Grafana like Splunk, Kabana and many more but Grafana is widely used. I hope this chapter gave you a high level understanding of what Grafana is all about. In the next chapter, let's install Grafana on Minikube to get ready for our hands-on session as always. Stay tuned. My name is Pawan El Tepu and thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this content, please share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe to my channel to not miss any updates.